morning everybody and welcome back to my channel if you're new hello my name is Mackenzie and I am a fashion merchandising student at Kent State University it's currently Thursday January 21st and I am driving back to school today I'm in my new car if you guys have missed my last few vlogs um, I actually ended up starting my school year here just because the weather was really bad in Pittsburgh Pennsylvania area and so I didn't want to take any chances getting in another wreck and my car wasn't ready yet so now I am headed back. It's Thursday, kind of a random day to be driving back, but the weather was clear and I want to get out while, you know, it allows for it. I am really nervous if I'm being honest, but you know, we're gonna, we're gonna see how it goes. So here's my new car. If you guys missed my last vlogs, I am driving a Hyundai Santa Fe now. It's a 2009 and it's very spacious in here and I sit up really high. Overall, I really like it. I still miss my Nissan, but you know what? I'm just grateful to have a car to be driving back to school counting my blessings you know so, so I just walked in the door and I have the most ungodly amount of mail behind me I will show you guys in a second but I just wanted to sit down and tell you yes I made it safe but I did not make it back without shedding lots of tears um a lot of you guys were asking me like how I've been doing since the accident in the first few days I was just so emotional like I would cry over everything and then I was feeling pretty fine I had driven my new car a few different times but like never longer than 20 minutes or on the highway so it was definitely a treat getting used to the car around the like two hour mark we got stopped on the pennsylvania turnpike and i don't know why it was really windy and my phone said that there was an advisory but i have never seen so many semis in my life and i was like literally having ptsd to the accident because i hit a semi and i just Oh, oh my god, it was scary, but the weather was fine. The roads were fine. It was really really windy out So that wasn't my favorite. I hate driving in wind because it's a little jerky, but I made it back I'm just feeling so grateful to be here. It took me a little bit longer than usual I stopped to get a key and they ended up being closed So it took me about five hours to get here, but you know what? I'm just happy to be here in one piece. That's what matters Okay, let me show you this stack of mail behind me because this is literally insane um I told you guys I was packing light because I had tons of stuff waiting here for me. This is Discount Glasses, this is Spanx, White Fox Boutique, this is Lulu's. This is an order of Shein swimsuits and then these three boxes are just like my regular Shein order. And I got a few pairs of shoes and jackets which is why there's so much stuff. And then this is another thing from White Fox. So I am going to have to do some major unboxing but first I want to start unpacking like, you know, my groceries, my actual clothes, like stuff like that. Figured I would do a little grocery haul for you guys because I know you like seeing them. And my mom sent me back with tons of stuff. So I have ground beef, frozen ground beef, you guys know. And I brought chicken tenders. I didn't have like a big enough thing to bring all of them back. And then I brought lots of bacon so that Emily can have bagel sandwiches with me. Have you eaten one yet, Em? No, I can't make that. Oh my god they're so easy and then i my mom like found these like little small individual chicken breasts so i brought those back and i think that's going to be so helpful because then like i can just air fry one single piece of chicken i got a bunch of rotisserie chicken that's frozen and then ground beef that's frozen and I'm already cooked i have lots of cheese I have cheese slices thing of regular cheese I brought back sour cream and Greek yogurt for my smoothies feta cheese I brought back this pesto I found downstairs and then this is avocado crema I have a couple of frozen burgers that my mom made I'm gonna try to make them in the air fryer and see how that goes I have more feta cheese cilantro and then cream cheese and last but not least in here I have a couple of chick-fil-a sauces and then I have a bunch of like canned goods and stuff. I'll show you guys once I put all this away. And then for my other food, I brought back some Cliff Bars. I've got a thing of blueberry bagels, one thing of Sour Patch Kids, and then a five pound bag of Albany Scummy Bears, my absolute favorite. My mom has sent me with some red potatoes. I've got some cilantro lime rice. I think I might have that tonight. I haven't decided what I'm cooking for dinner yet, but I also got some white rice. 
one yellow rice. I already had a bunch here. And then I have about four or five cans of corn. I have lots of black beans because I eat black beans a lot here. Good protein. Two things of noodles. Pasta. I've got wraps because I eat wraps like crazy here. Dish soap because we needed some. Another thing of olive oil for pasta. Popcorn. And then last but not least, some taco seasoning. I totally forgot ranch packets, but oh well. Oh, and then I have a thing of tostitos. I have a mango for shrimp tacos and a few apples. So that's my grocery haul. Hope you enjoyed. Give you guys a little refresher of the kitchen while I'm at it because like I said, I know a lot of you guys are new. So over here we have spices and then all of us have like a pantry section. Emily has one down here. Griffith has one up here. And then I have two different sections. I keep all my canned goods down here. And then my rice up here, I've got pasta and extra tortillas. And then the rest of my stuff is up here. And this is where I keep all of my chips, my candy, my popcorn, lots of junk food up here. I had those skinny pops left over. And I honestly had a good bunch of food here. The only reason I brought so much back is because I won't be going home until April-ish. So I figured I would just bring back as much as I can. And then in here we have dishes. And then we have all of our like silverware. Griffith has her silverware in here. And then I keep mine over here, so. I just took some shrimp out and I'm defrosting them. I haven't decided if I'm gonna have pasta or tacos yet, but I'm gonna make something for dinner. I realized I never gave you guys a car tour slash showed you my car, so I'm gonna do it now. I told you guys it's a Santa Fe, it's a 2009, and I love all of the extra space in the trunk. It has this like hidden compartment so I can put stuff in there, and I'm always transporting stuff back and forth, whether it be for photo shoots or clothes to bring home, so I'm really grateful to have an even bigger trunk than my last car, and the Nissan had a pretty big one already and then this is the back seat my seats are not leather they're actually like this I don't even know what is this called this is what my last car was too but my last one was black and this one is a light gray interior and it's pretty roomy back here it's not as wide as my last one because the back seats don't go back but I still have a really good chunk of space and then this is what the inside looks like. Honestly, it's a lot nicer on the inside than my last car, just because it is a couple years newer and it's really simplified up here, which I love. I have gum because I just had gum. And then this is what the like center console looks like. I always keep like photo shoot accessories in here because I do use my car like a majority of the time for photo shoots. So I keep extra earrings, necklaces, and a mask in there. And then there's like a second compartment down here and I have CDs in here my journal and then this I will tell you guys about later this week I'm so excited I'm just keeping that little spinner in there but yeah that's the car I also can like set this up right here when I'm sitting which is really nice like the camera sits at a really nice spot so anyways now that I'm in the car I can tell you guys what I'm doing so I know that I just showed you tons and tons of groceries like my mom sent me back with so much stuff but um, I need a couple of things. Like I need limes and garlic, which I forgot both of those. And then I'm gonna grab some orange juice and just like two other random things. So figured I would just go and get that over with. I have a package I need to drop off at FedEx and I'm gonna stop and get gas because I only have 104 miles left. So let's go run some errands. Got some OJ, got four limes cause they were just, you know, buy two for like a dollar or something so i was like all right i'll just get four and then i got some garlic now i am pumping my gas god i hate pumping gas this is the third time i've had to do it and i have a feeling it's gonna cost me another 30 dollars even though i just spent 15 dollars to fill up um in pennsylvania so yay welcome home all the christmas decor is down now so this is just the normal sorority house vibes Let's go cook some dinner. All right, we're cooking shrimp tacos. That's what I ended up with. I've ate shrimp because I realized I didn't take out enough shrimp to cook pasta, and then I'm gonna try that cilantro lime rice. It's not done yet, but. All right, first shrimp taco of the semester, and I have 
this rice and I put a little bit of cheese on it. We'll see how it is. Alrighty, everybody. I have opened up two of the Shein packages and now I am undoing the Lulu's and the White Fox, but I just wanted to show you guys the packaging because it's so stinking cute. Lulu's always wraps everything up really nicely in this tissue paper and I didn't actually get that many items. It's just that everything is like really big i got a lot of sweaters and jackets and then white fox they have the cutest dust bags that their stuff comes in and then they also have these nice magnetic boxes and i just think it's so cute i think i'm actually going to save these dust bags because i think that they might be good to put like jewelry and socks and stuff when i'm going back and forth i am going to show you real quick what i got from lulu's because this is not for a video these are actually for tiktoks so i got this jacket right here and I got this cute zebra coat. It's really long and it's really, really heavy. So I'm wondering if it's gonna be super warm. Goes down to your ankles, perfect for an Ohio winter. I got this leather jacket that's like lined with fur, which I think is really cute. And then I got a few different sweaters. I grabbed this little cute cardigan. I think a bralette will be really, really adorable underneath that. And then I got this really big oversized gray turtleneck, really cute with leggings. And then I got this black sweater, just a black v-neck. Looks like that, I can never have too many black sweaters. I got this black bodysuit that's open in the back. I really like the back. I don't think you guys are gonna be able to tell, but it's all open. And then I also got these jeans. These look so cute. I've been on such a denim kick and I usually don't wear ripped jeans, but I figured I'd give them a try. And then I got two pairs of shoes as well. These are from Steve Madden. And they're like snow boots, you know, like trendy snow boots because we live in the snow belt here. Okay, and then last but not least, I got these like light tan. I, they're called the color Ecru. And these are from Dolce Vita. Very cute. Something, you know, I needed like a shoe that wasn't white but wasn't tan. You know what I mean? I have a pair of mules this color from Chinese Laundry and I wear them all the time. So, got that. And then there's a bunch of mail down here, but... Anyways, say hey to Griffith. She's back, everybody. Hi. You guys, I've just been making my friend rounds today, and it feels so good just to see everyone, give them some hugs. So I spent a lot of time catching up with my roommates, and then my littles needed me to drive them to dinner, so I dropped them off and got to spend some time with them after. Um, and then when I picked them up, I ran into Lauren and got to catch up with her and then right as I got home, one of my good friends, Hannah, texted me and was like, it's my birthday and I'd love if you came and just said hey. So I just sat in their apartment for like an hour just chatting. Um, you guys know Hannah, Annie, Emma, Grace. They were in a lot of my vlogs last year, but I've only seen them like twice this school year. Just things have been crazy. Everyone's been busy. You know, Corona year is obviously really different, but I just got to catch up with them and it felt really, really good. So it's 11 now and I am headed back home. Need to shower and go to bed because your girl's got an 8 a.m. tomorrow. Catch you then. Yeah, okay, Black Forest was being a little weird. It was for some block, it was even locked on my end, which I am so sorry about that um, to anyone who's struggling to get in. Um, but right now, I good morning everybody. It is Friday morning, 9.15, and I just got out of my first and only class of Fridays. Don't ask me how I got stuck in at 8 a.m. on Friday, but I did. But it's over with. The professor is a grad student, so she's really sweet and nice. And, you know, we just got the gist. I have a couple of assignments to do for that class. Today is going to be kind of all over the place. First, I'm making bagel sandwiches because my roommates are begging me to make them breakfast. So I will be making them breakfast, well, and myself. And then I need to get a blog post up. I need to do some marketing. I need to do some schoolwork for the class I just left. Because, you know, I didn't accomplish any schoolwork yesterday because I was driving back. And then I need to film a video because I have lots of blog work to do. And I also need to run to the bookstore and pick up something. So it's going to be a full day. And we're just starting off by cracking four eggs. First bagel sandwiches of the semester. And if you guys are new to my channel, then you probably don't know my obsession with the bagel sandwiches. 
So the key is to start off with a blueberry bagel and then put cream cheese on the bagel. I know that sounds really weird because you're gonna put eggs and bacon and that the sweet and salty is gonna be weird. But it's so good. So I just cooked up my scrambled eggs and I put them on there. I should have cooked five scrambled eggs, I'm realizing. And then you take bacon and you put some bacon on there. You know the vibes. Usually I put like three things of bacon. Ooh, wonderful. Chef's kiss. Okay. And make sure you put cheddar cheese in the eggs and salt and pepper. And then bam. Oh my god. It looks incredible. Made one. Here's Emily's. We all eat on our own plates. Here you go, Griffith. Thank you, man. Enjoy. Guys, my bagel sandwich was dominant this morning, but I'm upstairs in the study room now. And I have people in here with me. Hi, guys. Um, but I was just sitting in here to write a blog post, and I just finished it up. I'll show you guys. Today, I'm sharing three ways to style shackets this winter. And usually, when I write blog posts, I just sit on the couch because it's really comfy. But if I do schoolwork, I'll sit at the table. But anyways, here she is. This is my favorite outfit because I love those Princess Polly asymmetrical jeans. And there are some joggers. And then one last outfit here. I still have a few more blog posts worth of pictures from home and then I'll like start shooting in Kent and getting like Kent content up but done with this and I am headed back to my room because I need to start filming TikToks for Lulu's. I just got a big batch of brand work done for Lulu's. I filmed two TikToks and then I filmed a try on session and then I took mirror photos in all of the outfits that I, you know, did my little stories with. So I'm gonna show you guys the TikToks. Keep in mind that you guys can't listen to the actual audio because then I'll get copyrighted. So pretend. And then the second one was actually me talking and I'm sharing three jackets. Okay, I've been getting lots of requests for winter weather options. And so today I'm gonna to be sharing three different jackets, outerwear pieces that I think are essential. And then I go through and share the three. And so I'm gonna send those in for review. And then, like I said, I just filmed all of my stories and then I took pictures in all the outfits. So here is one of the outfits, that really cute jacket. The same outfits from the TikTok. Then I have a leather jacket and jeans. Then I have this cute little cardigan and jeans. Then I had this sweater. And the last one was this really adorable zebra jacket. So now I'm gonna go through and edit those photos. I'm going to screen record the TikToks and stuff and send everything in as a draft. I just got a package in the mail, shocker. And I'm very excited for this one. I actually placed this order and purchased these with my own money, which is very rare. I very, very, very seldomly will buy clothing with my own money, but Today I did, and it is a new pair of Converse. So I got black hot tops for Christmas, and I really wanted white as well, but they were sold out literally everywhere. And then I was looking on DSW one day, and they had them in my size. I wear an eight, and so I placed the order. I will leave them linked down below if they're still in stock so that you guys can shop, but they just look like this. I love the platforms, and I've been wearing my black ones a ton, so I figured the white ones would be good to have. So. That just came. Now I'm going to switch gears and I'm going to do a marketing lecture. I went to the bookstore this morning and picked up my lecture notes. So basically instead of taking notes like word for word, he prints out all of the lectures and then you just go through and like fill stuff in. It's kind of like you follow as you go. So I picked that up from the bookstore this morning and the girl who gave it to me was actually a subscriber. So I didn't get her name, but if it was you, thank you for saying hi. So um, let's knock out some schoolwork. Ugh. Products available when the promotion uh, rolls out uh, at the right quality, etc. Everything has to work together. Today, you all have the advantage of operating in. 
just finished up marketing for the day. This truly felt like the longest 80 minutes of my life, but oh well. Notes are taken, knocked that out, and I am done for the night. Today I have a guest star, Mr. Michael Turner's here, trying on some new clothes. All right, this lighting's so bad, so we're gonna do it out there. Okay, let's try this again. Hey guys, welcome back. I have a guest with me, say hi. This is Mike, Mr. Michael Turner. Today, we are sharing my new discount glasses. Actually, I let Mike choose the glasses this month because I already have so many from them. I will leave everything linked down below that he got and I'll leave the regular link to discount glasses because they have tons of women's glasses, all my blue lights, clears, sunglasses, all that kind of stuff is usually from them. So you guys can check that out. Good little Valentine's Day gift, birthday coming up, anything like that, so. It's still not. <laughs> Oh my god. No, no. Oh. This is terrible. Hey guys. Welcome back. This is what happens. How did they all just literally break? This is what happens when you try to find a tripod because Mike's being difficult and won't just move closer to the camera. Clears? Probably a... Seven? A seven? Yeah, probably a seven. Okay, yeah, I'd probably give those ones a nine myself. Wow! Wow! <laughs> um, these ones are definitely most hated. Um, four. Four! I don't like those. Ouch! I don't know what the other ones are. These ones might be my favorite, might not be. Eight. Those ones are my favorite. I'd probably give those ones, those are right here. I'd probably give um, those ones, those ones are the best. Those ones I give a nine and a half. Because ones, it's not on the scale of like glasses ever. It's like what you got. These ones are also up there. Um, eight as well. Wait, did I say the other ones are eight? Yeah. I'll give the other ones an eight and a half and I'll give these an eight. Why? Okay, what would have made them a ten? Like why no hot? I like, don't know. I would never give something a ten. Unless it was. <sighs> perfect like me. Yeah. <laughs> Mike just left, and now I am cooking some dinner. Tonight I am making shrimp pasta because I know I just ate shrimp yesterday, but all of my like fresh produce is here, and I feel like I should, you know, eat it while it's fresh and good. So I'm going to be making my infamous feta cheese. You need feta cheese, cilantro, a lime and cumin and shrimp you don't need shrimp but i always put shrimp so i'm boiling my water now and then i'm gonna toss my noodles in and yeah that's what we're doing tonight super fast i love pasta because it's really easy and it's quick okay here she is i just mixed in feta the cilantro half a lime salt pepper and some olive oil and now I'm just gonna put it in this bowl and eat it. Just helped these losers make their shop book pages <laughs> because both of their bigs turned 21. If you're in a sorority and you go to a school that does these, like some schools do signs and that you wear and some schools do shop books. We do a shop books here. Dinner was scrumptious. I literally, I give today a nine and a half. And it would have needed a little more cilantro for me to give it a 10. Should have put a little more in, but it was really, really good. Now I'm working on a assignment for my media messages class. Um, I realized that I had this discussion board due. Well, it's due tomorrow, but I don't like doing things the day that it's due. So I just decided to do it tonight. We're basically introducing ourselves in a discussion board post. And then we also had to like respond to all these different round robin statements. There were 12 of them and we had to pick one to three to respond to. If I could be a character in a TV show or film, I think the world's worst problem is, the person I respect or admire most, if I had to give up electron, you know, like that kind of question. So I chose if I could have one skill that I don't already have, it would be blank and why, and the person I respect or admire most is blank. So. I said, hi, my name is Mackenzie Morgan and I am a junior here at Kent State. I'm from Maryland and like so many others, was drawn to Kent for its incredible fashion program. That being said, I am pursuing a degree in fashion merchandising with a minor in fashion media. 
I have a twin sister, Madison, who is quite the opposite and yet my missing puzzle piece. I spend the majority of my week blogging about clothes and sharing co my college life with thousands of girls via YouTube. I launched my website, stylebymckens.com, five years ago, and it truly is my pride and joy. Post-grad, I plan on pursuing Style by McKenz while working for a fashion magazine, ideally somewhere warm, but as my mom likes to remind me, New York City doesn't exactly fit the criteria. My whole life, I've always been a rusher. It's not that I refuse to pay attention to detail. In fact, I'd consider myself quite the perfectionist, but I've always felt the need to be the first one. For this reason, if I could choose to have one skill for the day, I would choose patience. Although it may seem silly, it's something I've lacked my entire life. The constant need to get things done first, to check off what's left on my list has dominated my life and it's draining. While yes, it has made me more productive than most, it's left me with an irrational fear of disappointing those around me when a task takes longer than intended. It's left me eager to reach the finish line without ever really appreciating the race. This leads me to the person whom I admire most, my Aunt Kath. Unfortunately, stage four lymphoma took her life nearly four years ago, but she was truly the kind of person you hear about in movies. She was plentiful in love and fruitful in knowledge, but more than anything, she was patient, a quality that I admired her for so deeply. Her laugh was the glue to our family, lighting up every room she entered. I miss her more with each passing day. So I just decided to answer those two questions because they kind of went hand in hand and I wanted to talk about something a little more meaningful than like a cartoon character. So that was that. This is a journalism and communications class. So that's why my response is kind of lengthy and like more wordy than my usual post because she basically tells you like in her grade like her grading system, she goes, I give you a seven if you do it right, a seven out of 10, and then I add points if I think you did a good job, or like if your writing wowed me. So basically, even if you do everything right, you still only get a C on the assignment. You have to like be really good at it. One to three points added for writing that is particularly well done, clear, detailed, and well organized. So, um, you know, I had to make it a little, little more something. So anyways, submitting this. That's what's up. Morning shotties. It is Saturday morning. It's 9.30 and I am getting ready for the day. I woke up at 9 and you know it felt really good to sleep in. I had to wake up really early for that class yesterday and was just kind of tired from driving the day before. Like I didn't have a really good night's sleep the day before. So you know what? It felt really good to sleep in. And I'm feeling rested, rejuvenated, recharged, all those good things. And now I'm doing my makeup. I hope that I look the prettiest I've ever looked in my life today. I don't know why, I just, <laughs> just like in the mood. I'm in a really good mood this morning. Serotonin's going, you know, um, and we're gonna get ready. So I have to film two videos today. I need to film a Shein haul and I need to film a Windsor haul. And then at four o'clock, um, my roommate's big and the girl across the hall, Morgan, who's in a lot of my videos, her big. Today is their bar crawl. So we are going over to their house just to see them before they go. Give them that, those shop book pages that I helped make last night. Um, take a few pictures with them, whatever. But tonight's going to be a friend's kind of night, you know, like it's just, it's going to be good for the soul. Good for the soul. So doing my makeup. And I will catch up with you guys when I am all ready. All right, all ready. Hair is curled. Not in love with my curls right now. I think it's just because my hair has grown a lot in the last, like, couple weeks. And I got this new curling iron, and I love the new curling iron. But I don't know. When I, like, shake it out, it, like, looks kind of, I don't know. So, anyways, I am going to start filming. Just got done filming that White Fox Boutique haul. And literally, I have never had such a good haul of clothing ever in my life. I literally love loved every single thing like there's not one thing that I was like meh I'm on the fence about this that's like the best feeling especially when it's like a sponsored video like that oh so okay just finished White Fox it's 11 20 now and I am going to start filming the Shein alrighty folks there are clothes literally everywhere so now I shall begin hanging everything up and putting it in its home is 
stuffed. I got everything hung up that she and haul is filmed. I'm feeling really good. I'm in a really good place like work wise right now. And I just got dressed because like I said, um, Hannah and Jenna and Carly are having their birthday tonight, which are three girls who we're really close with. Me and my roommates all are. So this is what I'm wearing tonight over there. I figured I would look cute regardless. This top is from White Fox Boutique. It's like a little red corset style. And then my belt's from Romwe. These black skinny jeans are pretty old. They were like my favorite jeans last year. They're from Express. And then I've got on black, um, like leather boots from Shein and my hoops are from Shein as well. I am going to leave my camera home just because I'm not bringing a purse. I'm literally just bringing me and my phone, but I will keep you guys updated. At least picking out an outfit while I eat my chicken tender wrap. You know the drill. Chicken tenders, cheese, barbecue sauce ranch. Uh, your favorite. Barbecue. Okay, show them what you have on. Kay. She's debating wearing this new jacket from Lulu's. Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with it. I just don't know if it it's really the soft. Vibe. Okay, where's your top from? Yeah, this top is from my friend Morgan's room. No idea. And your jeans? <laughs> jeans are from Forever 21. So cute. Vibe check. <laughs> check your vibes. <laughs> Alright guys, we are home from the function. I'm with Emily and this is one of her roommates, Callie. You guys have met her in a vlog before. She curled my hair in one of my videos, but <laughs> we are just editing off the vlog now. I hope you guys enjoyed this little shorter week in my life. We will be back to regularly programmed content tomorrow, I promise. Fingers crossed. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and if you're new, make sure to hit the subscribe button and we will talk to you tomorrow. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Bye.